We now return to How I Met Your Father. Oh, Barney, I'm never going to meet the right girl and get married. You know, Ted, don't you think it's kind of strange for a guy in his 20s to always be talking about getting married rather than getting laid? Barney, I'm in love with you. Suit up. All right, come on, everyone. Go get dressed. It's ballet night. Oh. Oh. Lois, don't freaking put me through this again. Peter, a little culture is good for this family. Besides, you liked the Nutcracker, didn't you? No, Lois, I did not. The Nutcracker had zero physical comedy. And, and with a name like the Nutcracker, I thought, oh, this will be worth a few yucks. But no, Lois, that title wrote a check that those queers on stage refused to cash. Peter, we're going. Well, we're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! You know, Meg, female ballet dancers are famous for anorexia and bulimia, and, uh, seems to work out for them. So, hintity hint hint. Boy, this is gonna be long. So, uh, you kids develop any good pot connections at your school yet? What? Yeah. Ah, Lois, we'll be right back. Uh, Meg's gonna take me outside to poop. Quagmire. Hey, Peter, what's up? I'm stuck at the stupid ballet. Get out of here. You serious? Yeah. So am I. What? Yeah, I got dragged here by this broad I'm trying to screw. Where are you sitting? Look across at the other balcony. I can see you. Oh, my God. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We're both here. Oh, my God. We should text each other. Hang up. Hang up. Times have I told you no reading during meals? I have a history test today, Mom, and I couldn't study last night because you made us go to the ballet. <laughs> yeah, right in her ass. <laughs> <sighs> well, Chris, you're not going to learn any history from this. This textbook is from 1896. What? Chapter 3 Here Comes Utah. Let me see that. Negroes, America's dancingest rape folk. That's awful. We don't use the word Negro anymore. What the hell? Are these schools so underfunded that they can't afford textbooks from this century? Well, I am going to raise hell about this at the next PTA meeting. Well, let me know if you need help. I can be very persuasive. I gave the next speech after the Braveheart guy. They can take our lives, but they can never take our freedom! <laughs> And, and, let's not forget the tax they levied on properties that are an abutment of church lands. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get this meeting underway. For our first order of business, we'll go to Bruce. Oh, hey, y'all said my name. Welcome to our meeting here at the school. We got lots of exciting topics here tonight. We gonna have a puppet show. We gonna have some jazz. No, I'm just kidding. We have some business to take care of, though. I'm sorry I pulled y'all's legs. I'm just a little excited because I met somebody today. Someone in the bookstore. Someone who likes the same kind of literature as I do. Oh, and the adventure begins again. Excuse me, Principal Shepard. There's something I'd like to discuss. The school has gone too far with these budget cuts. I'm sorry, Mrs. Griffin, but the No Child Left Behind law cost us our federal funding because our students' test scores were too low. They cut a school's funding if it's got low test scores? This is not what the Founding Fathers had in mind. Okay, we're here to sign this Declaration of Our Independence. Let's take roll call first. Thomas Jefferson? Here. Benjamin Franklin? Here. John Foot Penis? It's Hancock now. Why? Mind your business, that's why. Well, somehow, this school needs to raise its test scores right away. I suppose there is one thing I can do to raise the school's test average. Then do it! All right, we'll drop the dumbest student we have. Chris Griffin is hereby expelled. But if I leave now, I won't hear who's the dumbest kid in the school. Cool. 
I don't have to go to school. I can just pee in my bed all day. Chris, being expelled is a serious thing. Peter, we've got to find another school for him. I say, I could homeschool him. After all, I taught Cleveland how to make Jiffy Pop. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! So, do you think your school would be right for Chris? Oh, absolutely. Quahog School for the Deaf has great programs, both academic and athletic. In fact, you're just in time for our homecoming pep rally. What are we going to do to Lincoln? Kill them! I can't hear you! Kill them! I can't hear you! I can't hear you! Kill them! I can't hear you! Kill them! Let's just go. Welcome to the Quahog Maritime School, Chris. Our curriculum consists of being on boats for long periods of time with men, just men, for many days at a time, up on the deck with lots of men or down in the galley with lots of men. Is this some kind of pirate school? Well, a certain kind of pirate. Yes, we've been called that. I don't know. Is there some kind of preschool program? You know, I have to admit, I've always been a little worried about Chris, but I guess I just convinced myself things would work out for him. But with no education, what kind of future can he possibly have? Well, what are we supposed to do, Lois? I mean, it's not like the high school will take him back. And every other school we've tried just doesn't... Oh, crap. <laughs> My son got into DeVry. Ah, oh, good. What do you have to do, open the door? <sighs> Can't you let me have anything? <laughs> Wait, 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 hey, hang on, hang on. What are we fighting about? You know, I have completely forgotten. Me too. Uh, I, something about a coupon. I, I, I all... cannot for the life of me remember. Oh, I... my God, that's ridiculous. You know what? I, I, I just, I hope I didn't hurt you. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm all right. I'm all right. About that. But listen, you know what? Let me make it up to you. Why don't you let my wife and I take you out to dinner? Well, that sounds lovely. Oh, that was delicious. You know, I drive by this place all the time, and I, I, I've never been inside. Isn't that yeah, funny? Yeah, and, you know, Nicole and I came here by accident. We, we had reservations at another place, and they, mm -hmm. right, right, honey? Yeah, they couldn't see us for like an hour, so we ended up coming here, and we just loved it. Loved it. I can see why. I mean, it, that, that halibut was, that, that may have been the best halibut I've ever had. <laughs> well, I'm glad we talked you out of the pork chops, huh? <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.